My next guest and his team of medical experts has successfully treated more than 25,000 patients for hypothyroidism. It's a condition that is often misdiagnosed. Dr. Stephen Holtz joins me now to tell us why and what we can do about it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kelly. Glad to be here. Hypothyroidism, as opposed to hyperthyroidism, means that the thyroid, which controls so many things going on in your body, is a little bit slower, correct? Right. Well, hypothyroidism really relates to the inability of the body to assimilate thyroid hormones into the cells. Can be caused by lack of or low production of thyroid, but there could be a cellular resistance or antibodies to the thyroid hormones themselves. The thyroid hormone is what enables your cells to produce and use energy. It governs your metabolism. So if you get adequate amount of thyroid hormone, you feel exceptionally you're full of energy, bright and alert, thin and trim. But if you don't get enough thyroid into your cells, it can give you fatigue, difficulty thinking, difficulty losing weight, mm -hmm. insomnia, joint muscle aches and pains, stomach disorders, loss of hair, uh, recurrent chronic infections, in women, irregular menstrual cycles, infertility, miscarriages. It causes a host of problems that seem unrelated, but there's a common strand or thread in, of all these problems, and that's low thyroid condition. Right, and Dr. Hotze, I know you go about this in a, in a different way than some. Some doctors, it's a simple test, really. It's a blood test. You can see what your hypothyroid level well, as a, is. As a matter of fact, 95% of the time, people with hypothyroidism will fall within the normal lab range. And doctors say, well, you can't have hypothyroidism because your blood's in the normal range. Well, as a matter of fact, that's the range is so wide and it's so tall, like the Empire State Building, and wide as the Grand Canyon, that 95% of the people fall within the range. So you have to treat hypothyroidism based upon clinical symptoms. So if a person has all these symptoms of low thyroid, particularly if they're a woman in midlife because they have hormonal imbalances and changes as they march towards the menstrual life, you give them a therapeutic trial of natural thyroid, not synthetic thyroid, of natural desiccated thyroid or armor thyroid, so a common preparation or a compounded preparation and that enables you to to see how they respond and you gradually increase that and if it resolves their underlying symptoms they lose weight their energy comes back up then you had your diagnosis and it was a clinical diagnosis rather than a blood diagnosis. By the way, you can check for autoimmune thyroiditis, which most doctors don't do, to see if you're making antibodies to the thyroid gland, and that's a condition that needs to be treated with thyroid as well. Well, as somebody who has hypothyroidism, I thank you. And we're going to talk later, aren't we? Dr. Hotze's book, it's called Hypothyroidism, Health and Happiness, yep, it's all intertwined, is in bookstores right now. You can also go to thyroidanswer.com slash hope for more information. But if you call right now, 954-622-6666. You have a chance to win a free copy of his book, so get dialing.